Building a successful company is no easy task, especially if you're a college student. I sat down with three local entrepreneurs to discuss their experiences. My business is iRolly. We create smoking accessories that make smoking on the go easier. I just saw an opportunity. It's a market that's growing pretty fast. So I figured if there's ever time to try it, it's now. We're in 12 national retailers between smoke shops and online head shops and two international retailers. We just partnered with Def Jam Records. So I went on YouTube, learned 3D printing programs designed a phone case, gave it to them, they liked it, and then made a couple more, went to smoke shops, showed it to them. I can't speak enough to the democratizing effect of 3D printing and manufacturing coming back to like the people. You can literally make a product by just sitting on your computer for like two hours and hooking it up to a 3D printer. Like if you can show you're having success in your business, you're taking it seriously and you're doing all the right steps, then people quickly get by the fact that you're only 21. I'll actively go out, ask people who have successfully launched and sold a business, and I'll be like, what do I do here? I'm stuck, I have no clue. Recycled revenue. So what we wanna do is organize electronic waste recycling in Brazil. This has a lot of toxic chemicals in it, and that is not dealt with properly, especially in developing countries. We wanted to have a microfinancing segment. And so what microfinancing is, is providing small loans to people who can benefit from financial opportunity. We're trying to help other people gain social mobility through this different problem. Uh, more specific to our business was the scalability. We're not asking for $100,000 to start this little shop or product. We're asking for eight to $10 million to have a huge facility that's gonna have to go through strict regulations. And so a big problem for us was really seeing how we can make it realistic and also getting people on board with something of this magnitude. We saw something that we wanted, so we're making it happen. Fleek Full Headwear, a headband that's geared towards guys, girls, and athletes. I borrowed my mother's sewing machine and I had some fun with it. Initially when it started, I was with another guy. Once the school year started, he was too busy with school, so that was kind of tough because we had each other to kind of bounce back on and keep it going. We were relying on each other, driving this forward. Going solo was a big mental adjustment for me. Not having money, knowing you're about to be in debt and you don't really have that much income and you're working a side job and then you're like, oh, I have to spend $300 on this trademark right now. Uh, okay, that's gonna hurt a little bit. When something's out of your head and on the table in front of you, it can grow into something so much more. Prioritization is everything. Mm -hmm. If you think that you can run a business, do well in school, and squeeze in an hour of Netflix, then you're not gonna get anything done well. If you have self-motivation, then all the resources are there for you to learn whatever you wanna do. There's a million excuses. You just kinda gotta shut up go on the computer, learn on YouTube, whatever you gotta learn, and then go and start it. And if it fails, whatever, you're like 20. Haley Ryger, Northampton TV, Amherst.